And we have Bananas in chat from Oli95XZ, Amusix Live, uh, Emerald Rain, Mr. Marshmallows, Swiss X Core, Stray Paragon, Amazing Dave, uh, Modorang, Dragon Dream, Jay's on Fire, Master Gaming Real, DJ Avis. I think it's D Jarvis. But I'm going to call you DJ Avis. Thank you for the bananas in chat, peeps. The bananas mean that we're live on the twitch.tv slash the assume. Is it me or is the music really quiet? It's probably just me. Then again, that noise in the air is very loud. Who knows? Peeps, I'm sitting here with a hot cup of tea. Ready to play some Minecraft. We've got noises in the ear. Pre-stream, resubscribing from Sponge1990 for 10 months in a row and the Cedric for 8 months in a row saying, I don't know what to say here. You just said something, so that's what you said, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the resubscribe. Legendary Spy here. Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Thank you, my friend. Let's log on to the server. Bye, Bry says, hello, XIZuma. Yes, that's my new name, apparently. XIZuma Void. Jeez. That GR, Ian. That GR, Ian, I tell ya. Oh, he's got something coming his way. Um, thank you for bouncing off of me, Arrow, at the same point that I realised that I need a shield to bounce arrows off me. i got a headache. Right, let's go put down a bed. And, uh, and start doing some work in the area. I've been thinking, I've been brainstorming about what needs to go down right here. How do you sub with Prime, says Cool Carper. No idea, because I don't have Amazon Prime. Oh, jeez! Nor have I subscribed with the Prime that I... Oh! Please. We're, we're streaming. It's, it Shouldn't it be obvious? Cat says turtle, question mark. There's a tur... There's a turtle... What was that fizzing sound I just heard? I swear the music is for some reason lower or quieter. I'm going to check my volume mixer. Hmm. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm going to be a rebel. There we go. What happened to your face, says I Loof Cats? But this is, this is my normal face. What are you on about? This is what I look like. Jeez, what are you on about? Collab with Cub, says Ace Reeves. Ace Reeves, I'll tell you what, I will collab with Cub. If you head over to his channel and watch his video, I'm in it. There you go, problem solved. Right, we're going to need some leaves. I think what we're going to start off by doing is establishing a path. That path is going to go up the side here. I swear, man, I swear, something's wrong with the volume today. Those noises in my ear sound way louder than usual for me. And the music sounds way quieter. I'm going to turn down slobs. Try that. Maybe maybe Slobs has always turned down and it got reset or something. Right, so uh, yeah, we're going to start off by having some leaf blocks. We're going to go with maybe some dark oak leaves just because they've got a slightly different texture. So over here is going to be where we set up shop. And we need this chest and we need four of those. Wonderful. I also have, I also have a few of these things. Uh, shulker boxes with room for more blocks because we're going to accumulate junk. Junk's going to go right in there, I tell you, peeps. How do I get the 1.13 head pack, says Ryman. You'll have to create your own at this point in time. Humbly B says, I'm glad to be back to the regular skin. I miss the real Asuma. The real Asuma has returned, not that fake imposter Turtle Man X. That guy was a butt. Jeez. Let's go and put this... Uh, toolbox down so we can grab some shears. Also going to need some bonage. Some bonage action up in the place. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, I kind of need my saplings back from this, don't I? You know, I need to make a return, so maybe we can't go ham on this thing. Uh, I also don't really have an axe at the moment, if I remember correctly. Let's go check Oh no, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I had a good axe and it got swapped with a rubbish axe. And then I thought I'd run out of axe. As it slowly diminished in value. Uh, Turtle Man is better than Asuma, says Hexohagonic. Oh, Hexagonico. 
I mean, that's a poll right there. That's a poll that we could do, right? Who who likes Turtle Man more than regular Asuma? I mean, jeez, it could be more popular. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to do a poll. The question is, what do you like most? Answer one is Turtle Man. Answer two is Asuma. And uh, you might not see this. You might not be able to vote. Ladies and gentlemen, I've activated the poll. You might see something on your screen. If you don't see something on your screen about participating in the poll, no need to tell me in chat. I'm very much aware that it doesn't always appear for everyone. So it is what it is. Uh, chat seems to be going a bit wild with Turtle Man right there. So Turtle Man may be pulling ahead in the leave. Uh, in the leave. Jay, he's got leaves on the mind. So I reckon we should make our path with a mixture of path blocks and birch slabs. I also kind of want to cover up some of the concrete going on. Oh, we should totally mix it with... Uh, with some oak. Now, the whole area is going to be deforest. So I can come over here and happily just take this stuff because uh, eventually it will go anyway. I'm going to take a big old block of leaves from this tree, from that tree. There it is. There it is. Right. <laughs> Lots of people are putting number one, two, or three in chat. How does that? That doesn't help. That doesn't make any sense. You can buy leaves, says Ghost. Yeah, I probably can buy leaves. I can also make them myself. Let's go throw down some oaky leaves next to our dark oaky leaves. So we've got noises in the air. Uh, Bobby is Yoda is here resubscribing for 25 months in a row. Saying here's to 25 more. Jeez, confidence there. I like it. 25 more. All right. Let's start counting. Appreciate it. Oh, they are so similar. Are they actually the, uh, they're actually the same texture. I think I sussed that out another time. So what's the other tree? Probably jungle then. Jungle is the one that we should be focusing on. Also, we need to get our saplings back. Wow. So that was a bit of a waste of time. So we're off to a very efficient start to this stream. That's good to know, isn't it? It's good to know. Guess we do the same thing again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is a very tall tree. I'm going to let the vines grow. Uh, then again, I kind of need to get these leaf blocks and crack on with it. Looks like we're doing this. What are we voting on, says Raverin. We're voting on what skin um, people want me to have. So, Professor Biscuit is here. Resubscribing for eight months of Amazon Prime. Professor Biscuit, thank you ever so much for your subscription. I hope you enjoy Today's live stream, hanging out with us as we're chilling out here on, on twitch.tv slash Asuma, playing on some Hermitcraft. Uh, we've got Stray Paragon, resubscribed for three months in a row. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. And Shizuku3158, resubscribing two months in the row, saying, well, I guess that's it. Finally found a way to pay. Uh, thanks, ShackDaddy99 for the start. Oh yeah, Mr. ShackDaddy, that was a month ago. Oh, goodness me. That was a month ago, was it? Goodness me. Time does fly by, doesn't it? I don't know if the mysterious Shack Daddy has been here again, but uh, the support was obviously appreciated. And Yeah, I can't believe that was a month ago. Jeez, I guess time does fly, doesn't it? Now, I'm using the wrong thing. That is the problem. There we go. X, how do you choose a colour slash block palette for your builds? Is referring to a colour wheel and looking for contrasting complementing colours a good idea? Absolutely. Any any method 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 oh jeez methodology. I think I tried to put methodology into one word there, so it sounded a bit a bit derp in my brain. Um, yeah, any methodology for trying to come up with what you think works is good. Don't think there's really no wrong way as long as you're being proactive, right? At the end of the day, we can get all fancy schmancy and figure out some clever terms for what's happening with builds and colours when we look at them. But the reality is, um, you know, you can look at stuff and do you like the look of it? If the answer is yes and it's your builds, then there you go. So if you apply some sort of strategy, some sort of plan on how you're going to think about what blocks you use, that's probably only going to help you, isn't it? You know, even if that plan is something like random block, you're going to roll the dice and pick a random block, that can still be a form of fun. You know, maybe you're a really good builder and you're like, I want to challenge myself. Pick some random blocks. 
Um, Kiki Sunshine, congratulations on your acceptance letter to your dream uni. I know that can be a big deal, so well done to you. That's awesome, congratulations. Uh, Atomic Lava is here. Subscribe in with Amazon Prime. Atomic Lava, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you're uh, enjoying the stream so far. So Gus says, X, still rocking that beard. Um, I shaved my beard off and then I had an identity crisis. That was a fun story from a few streams ago. Yeah, so I had this really clever idea. I was like, oh, I'm going to shave my beard a bit. And then I shaved more of it and then I shaved it off. And then I went, oh no. And then I sulked in my bed for a few hours. I had, I, I had a legitimate identity crisis. Now, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. I did not know that I could react that negatively. And I can also, in a situation where you're feeling bad, you can sort of go, hey, this isn't the end of the world, is it? I know I know, it's very real. The feeling's very real. But we can uh, we can appreciate that, hey, it's only, only a bit of fluff on your face. Like, don't worry about it. But I find it very amusing that uh, it had a very strong reaction for me, you know? And I, I kind of want to grow it back again, but I kind of like how it looks without it at the moment as well, you know. So maybe I maybe I have it without a beard for a year and then grow it then. Uh, Fernand Fon says, Asuma, do you know how to create a function pack? Uh, sort of vaguely no. I mean, if you do searches, I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials and stuff out there. Chimpro says, hey, X, are your cramps from a couple of days ago still better? It was, it was literally the one cramp, and I've not had it since. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing better. Abs well, I'm doing absolutely fine, basically. Right, next thing we're going to need is some wood over here. So we're going to throw some of this down. Ah, dirt now has the same colour. That makes sense. You are what I'm looking for. I just had a little bit of a thought. Just had a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of activity in the brain. Things started going in the brain, you know. And uh, I just had a little bit of an idea. Just something I think I'll try. I'll try something different, you know. So we've got to make a... Ah, this is probably more... This is probably better off as a staircase than it is like a natural path mixed with... Um, mixed with path blocks. So maybe we should work on the other side. You're going to starve, says Flaming Wizard. I believe not. I believe I'm not going to starve. I have plenty of food. Also, AJ Main is here, resubscribing for six months in a row of Amazon Prime. Thank you for using the Prime subscription on me, my buddy. Peeps, I say it every stream. If you don't know, you can use Amazon Prime to subscribe to someone on Twitch. Pretty cool, right? Um, yeah, this is the better place for the type of path I'm currently thinking about. Hey, X, what's a good server to make a YouTube video on, says Leia. Leia. Any? I don't know, really. I think I think it's not really about what server you play on. It's about content of the video. And there's the there's the overlay for AJ Main. Jeez, that was a bit delayed, wasn't it? Also, we're 13 minutes into the stream. We might be ready for a little bit of tea sippage action. I know y'all like that tea sippage action. Um, this tree right here might have to go. It is kind of slap bang in the middle of where the path is. This is this is a poor choice of tree placement right here. This one's coming down. It's coming down right now. Here we go. I think we've got all the logs. You always got to check to make sure you get them all. Sweet. And uh, then let's just look at the lay of the land a little bit. So nice sort of slopage going on here. Very good. This bit probably a little bit bigger if we want to get a gradual slope. So we'll pinch back that much. That's kind of nice. That is now ours. Um, we'll remove this. Probably bring it down to a similar level again. So we'll knock back this bit here. You'll see on the side here, the path is somewhat elusive at this point. Uh, we're going to have this little hill here for the conduit. That's cool. And then our path itself shall be uh, this area. Whoopsie, fell in a hole. So something like that, really, is generally what we're looking at. I think it makes sense to go close to this thing. So why don't we, let me bring this down again. And then maybe that big old tree that we have gets to go somewhere around this area. Right, I reckon this is going to work. 
Shovel, says Duchio. Shovel, yes, I have a shovel. We need to use this shovel. Uh, the the J Red Baron is here, resubscribing for three months in a row, saying I've been watching season one of Hermitcraft on YouTube. It's fun to see how it's evolved over the years. Here's to many more. Well, thank you ever so much for the subscription, man. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying season one. That's some old school Hermitcraft action right there. Six years ago. And I'm going to sip some tea right now, peeps. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, jeez. Whew. Right, let's go check the results of the poll. Uh, we got 36 votes for Evil X. Jeez, I don't remember putting Evil X on the poll. Uh, Turtle Man with 86%. Sorry, 86 votes. And Asuma with 90 so this is very close. There's a lot of love for Turtle Man, but it seems you most of y'all want your traditional derp, you know. You're not keen on this fancy schmancy Turtle Man fella. Who, who is this fella? We want the old Asuma back. That's what you're saying. I hear you. I hear you. Right, so. In this space here, we're going to put down some occasional path blocks. Let's mix those in with um, these. Let's also put one like there. Going to mix these in with spruce and something else as well. Spruce? Jeez. Birch slabs. There we go. Looking good. Now, I reckon, can we get away with that with one of these on top of it? Oh, I can't put a... That, see, that don't work. But I wanted to put a pressure plate on top of it, you know. So what could, what else can we put? We've got two yellowish blocks. Uh, I think we know it's probably going to be sandstone, right? We have a chest for that. That is a chest that we have for. I call them chests. Let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. I call them chests. Spangleboo says, Evil X is my spirit animal. Oh, were you on a vision quest? Did Evil X speak to you? Blow up that server. <laughs> That's how Evil X talks, isn't it? Uh, it's a little bit too pale. Do you know what? There is another texture. This crackly one right here. I think, I think they're actually going a little bit better. Let's convert you into those. Uh, Jim's Das Streamer says, Hey, Asuma, I'm wondering what resource pack it is. If it's a mix, can you show it for a quick second? Our resource pack is the uh, default look of Minecraft. That's, sorry, default. Um, it is the future default look of Minecraft uh, from Minecraft.net. That's that's a nice little combination of materials there, I think. I think it fills out the space well as well, which is important. And I think it's probably a good idea we keep the path block itself in the middle. It's lowered down a little bit. It looks a little bit more worn out. So that's that's our strategy. Uh, peeps in the chat are saying, repair your shovel. You know, I like, to, I like to live life on the edge a little bit. You know, I'm a little bit of a rebel, okay? A little bit of a rebel. I see some people are getting antsy. They're getting upset. You know, I say, let's go with it. Let's go with the flow. Let's see where this takes us, you know. Maybe the shovel gets broken. Who knows? If we repair it, we will never find out. We could uh, we could probably use some slabs here of the other variety as well. Uh, also, what is kind of useless to me? I don't have a lot of arrows, so let's... You know you know what we need in this game? We need a bigger hotbar. This is what... I th Do you know what? Right, we talk about different updates. The cave-in update, the... Update the caves. That's been the big one for 1.13. I really think we need like a, an update that looks at the fundamentals of the game and just just uh, redesigns a few things. Item management, inventory management, hotbar space. You know, these are things... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, my saplings are gone. I forgot. I forgot. We needed a sapling reminder. I can blame it on all y'all now. I can blame it on all y'all. It's also throwing a stair just in that space. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that bit there, grass, and that bit. Yes, yeah, so this is where the path's going to come through. See, again, I'm, I'm swapping around constantly, trying to find what we need here. Um, let's have those three as that. And this is where we're going to go up in this direction. So straight away, we're kind of, again, onto some slabbage. Uh, I think I'll make you that. Does that look a little bit ridiculous? Kind of not, actually. Kind of like that. Kind of works for me, that does. 
Cool. Uh, got to Nate is here. Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Got Nate. Thank you for your Prime subscription, man. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. Sebastian Bomb says, "Would be nice a second hot bar like you got on the offhand." I would like that. I would like it if perhaps there was a button just to swap this around with that one. That would be cool. But uh, inventory space is really small. They really need to do something about it. There's a lot of items. There's going to be a lot more coming in future updates. It's time to rethink, you know, some of the fundamentals of the game. And, uh, and make make the game a lot more playable in the long run. So let's go ahead and do this. So that's looking okay. Sort of guided them up this little space very well. Um, so it's this block here. And actually that one there that I think will be part of this path. And remember, this is going to get terraformed over here, so we don't have to worry about it too much. That's kind of nice. Do you like coffee? If not, why? Can't wait for the awesome data pack to come out. Not much. Not exploring too much in my world till it comes out, says Ninja Shade. Um, I'd say next weekend I'm aiming for. I've just got to iron out a few more things of it that aren't going anywhere at the moment. Um, I like coffee, but I don't try not to drink it in, on, in, with any form of regularity. Once I, some pit, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I'll say it again. Once you've got that diet, uh, there's that caffeine in your in your body on a regular basis. It's going to create cravings. It's going to affect your energy levels, not in a good way. Um, yeah, so for me, I don't drink it with any regularity. Okay, this is this is super simple. Right? I'm liking this. Now we got leaf blocks ready. We're going to throw them in this space in a little bit. Just got to figure out a couple more slabs here. Let's do that. We'll make this a path block as we will do those and this one over here can be that type of block wonderful it's looking all right over here it's looking not too shabby isn't it I know you're liking this I know you think it's going well nice little path we've got going on let's put that there uh, I might actually just bring that texture across the side here to that sp spot and then let it finish there I think that might be a smart idea Panix ACV is here resubscribing for 34 months in a row, saying two more months and it's three years XVX hype. Indeed, thank you so much for almost three years of support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it ever so much. Thank you, Mr. Panix ACV again. A mini Bokoto says, nice block palette. Perhaps try some stripped oak. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. We've got these strip blocks, yeah. Now, because we've used them over here on the side, I think I'll leave them there and... Although I obviously appreciate the suggestion, I think I'm going to stick with this just because it's working at this point in time. But yes, I think I think you've got a point there. Maybe we'll try that on the opposite side, which uh, I think I said a moment ago actually needs to be more structured. It needs to be like this because of the bigger slope. So we might not actually get a chance to use it. We'll see, we'll see where this all goes. Um, depending on how much I get done, we have more path building to do potentially. So at this point here, I think that's going to be about four wide, isn't it? Got to get those little gaps, make it all nice and seamless. Yeah, I think it's looking all right. Uh, let's put one of these upside down in. Exuma, are you bald? Says it's Jared. No, no, I'm not Jared. Jeez. Hi, Exuma. Just making sure you read chat. Says I sent. I appreciate you making sure that I'm reading chat. Thank you. Uh, no. Clearly not. Jeez, derpy server. Let's put a full block there with a slab on top. I don't know why, just... Oh, now I've got to put something underneath it as well. Just feels like a thing I should do. Alright, we're getting up here to where the cobblestone leads us to the next part. And I'd say I'd say that's a really good path, actually. But I do think maybe that texture would have been even better. Hi X, are you going to make a real face reveal, says whatever my dudes. Uh, the face reveal is on the second channel. It's got like 50,000 views or something crazy. <sighs> what a beautiful drink. Tea, I love it. Samin Cole says make sure Corrales joins the server again. I mean, I can't make him join if he doesn't want to play, you know. It's just not on really. It, would, it wouldn't be fair if I tried to make you play on here and you didn't want to. That would just be cruel. Um, Ryan H is here with a nation saying, Turtle Egg, 
Zuma shop. I like it. Egg Zuma. It's a cool name for the shop. I mean, this place doesn't have a name, does it? That's the thing. There is no name for it. It's just a shop that I have made at the moment, at this moment in time. Uh, must make sure some of these leaves sort of end up on top of there. And then round this space. Here's another thing. Um, lighting. I haven't put down a single torch in this area yet. We'll put down some torches for sure. But it's one of those things, man. I really wish there was a better way of stopping mobs spawn in an area. Like an anti-mob spawning beacon. You know, I, I said a moment ago about exploring some of the fundamentals of the game. When this game was first made, you could build things. But you couldn't build things that were as beautiful as... Let's not use my own stuff as an example. You know, you couldn't build these things over here, right? Go back to the, the alpha and the beta days. You could not build stuff like this. Retrospectively, you could probably do a little bit more because we've learned so many tricks over the years. But uh, I, think, I think they need to think about how the creativity in the game is different. It used to be a bit of a challenge to survive. It used to be about being inside of this world and living in it. And then... As things do, that kind of gets old, the game evolves, and now you can do all these crazy beautiful things. If we can do all of that, let's find a way for players to do that peacefully and enjoyably, and not have stuff get blown up. I'm not suggesting just, uh, you know, get rid of mobs, anything like that. Just a way, just some ways to make keeping your builds protected from creepers not so tedious and not so damn ugly. <laughs> you know, it's it can be pretty ugly to... Uh, protect your stuff sometimes. We don't want that. Right, we're going to put an oak log there. Got to get those details right, you know. Got to get them right. Let's uh, let's make, let's make get the path blocks going on a little bit heavier at this point, I think. Going to make the path wider. Going to put in some larger shapes here. Something like that. And then we'll have our slabs and steps and whatnot over here. I'm going to fill that in. Right, uh, speaking of which, I've got some oak logs right here. Bam! Done! Bam! That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Azuma, get an elytra, says Olive Harris. Olive Harris! I will get an elytra. Oh, jeez, I've got two. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's go... Oh, what am I swapping around here? What one... Jeez, I'm trying to... Nope. Stop being silly. Right, we've got a lot of stuff in the inventory okay we came here for birch I believe let's make some birch in fact I'd like a lot more birch than that ooh birch woods that might be useful okay we'll have that many Ninja Shade says, X, what would you do if Minecraft was deleted slash became dead to the point that no one played it or watched it? Would you continue playing games or get a non-gaming job? I'll probably, I'll probably continue doing streaming and playing games for a bit. See how it goes. Why is your cursor in two different places, says Inferno? Because of a bug. A bug that puts it in two different places. Right, we'll continue that coming over the side here. I think we'll put some birch posts with uh, torches on top around here. Now, where are those Where are those birch fences? There they are. I knew we had a few. Okay, we're going to grab these. Some of these, some of those. Get stripped. Bam. Uh, I think actually what I'm going to do is just put them on these two. Okay, this one I'm going to take out. Put that one in instead. Bam! Like that. Pretty good. Pretty fancy. Fancy schmancy. Right. This one here is going to become one of those. Uh, actually, no. Not one of those. One of these. With a little bit of that on top. Bam! Looking good. I really wish Bedrock had the wood blocks, says Mini Bokto. Surely it does. Surely Bedrock has this. Bedrock seems to have everything and something else at the moment. Now that'll help light up this path to some extent. Maybe not the extent we need, but it'll be something. I think I'm going to put one here as well. Isn't this music just glorious? 
I feel like we should be exploring some sort of epic landscape. With scholars and kings! <laughs> right, we've got noises in the ear. Um, Schwaderfirm is here, resubscribing for two months in a row, saying, any plans for timelapse compilations? And I think your business name should be The Turtle Father. I love the sound of that. Um, no plans for time-lapse compilation. I decided that I didn't want to strive for that sort of uh, level of, I don't know, perfectionism or whatever anymore. It's, it takes a lot of effort to uh, put that together. Then there are copyright issues that are a real pain to deal with because I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, worked with someone who was seemingly deliberately unfaithful to the agreement um, to the point that they changed a legal contract for you being able to use their music to then you know, sort of turn around and take the ad revenue money from you. Um, so a lot of my old time lapses are uh, like unmonetizable now which is really just sucks basically. Um, what's weird is though like season 6 has really like rekindled my love for Hermitcraft a little bit. I've been feeling really fantastic about the season and Reminding myself of like why I like to go the extra mile with Hermitcraft. Um, which was something I was starting to sort of turn back on a little bit. I was starting to think like, nah, you need to, need to be more relaxed and, and chill and not worry about going over the top with everything. I think that's true. I think that's very much true. I should be like that. But there's got to be a balance. You've got you've to step outside the box sometimes and do some cool over the top stuff, you know. Every now and then. Asuma, any ideas for base ideas, says the 11 rainbow. I got base ideas, I'll tell you about them when I'm ready to tell you about them. Uh, they, are, they are being worked on, air quotes. I will get time to work, I won't get time to work on them. Jeez, I am just fumbling to find time to do stuff lately. It is crazy. That's just another thing I need to put on my list so I don't forget. I'm also working on that as well as all these other things. Jeez, it never ends. Actually, if we put too many of those in a diagonal, it's going to look funky. Right. It's looking pretty good. I feel like I might be missing something, maybe. No, we're pretty, pretty varied here. I like it. Unmute your mic. I have my full volume and I can't hear you, says Eon. Um, that's a bit strange because I think, well, I think that person actually is just not hearing the stream at all because you know the mic clearly isn't muted humbly B says I know how you feel I have two jobs right now it's hard yep yeah, it's hard to juggle a lot of work it's easy for it to become a stress that's something I'm concerned about do you know I, I'm I'm wondering about those oak logs again actually as we get further away from the beachy area it feels like those oak logs might actually be uh, a bit of a winner in this area let's grab a few let's give it a try so walking out of the area, the sand is coming with us a little bit. Maybe our first uh, oak log is right here. Put it on the side. Give it a little bit of this. Oh, wow, that looks nice for those, doesn't it? Yes, I actually think we need to mix this in a fair bit. Let's start taking out some sandstone blocks here and there. And uh, replacing them with these ones then. Now there, we need the one that's on all textures. So if we just grab that, we'll get that. See, look, look at the amount of blocks. They've added like a seriously crazy amount of blocks this update. And we need inventory management for it. Okay, I, th I think this really needs to become quite scarce at this point. Uh, here's the thing. We've only got one type of slab we're working with now if we do that. So yeah, that's, all, that's okay, isn't it? Maybe just for now we'll have that. Like so, yeah, it's a little bit odd, a little bit funky. Uh, actually, I think we're going to do this. Right, so at this point, I think we really need to be rare with the uh, sandstone now. I'm going to rip out all of those ones, and we're going to have lots of sideways logs. Uh, sometimes in different directions from one another. Seems like a smart idea. That is a nice path, isn't it? It's really nice. Okay, that's going to be our final bit of sandstone, those two blocks. These three are going, and that's it. No more sandstone now, peeps. We're banning the sandstone. Let's get back to those noises in our ear and drinking some more tea. Uh, we have Lexi Pryor here. Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Well, Lexi Pryor, thank you for subscribing. We also have Tyler Looney 
and Zane three 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 six six six. Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Well, thank you ever so much for the Prime subscriptions. Ah, that is a delicious gulp of tea. We have Mr. I Love Cats throwing bits at me, doing cheers, saying there's a new command, face reveal, that leads to the face reveal video, so people will stop asking about it. Oh, and by the way, next time we're in voice, remind me to play you the jaw harp. It's amazing. I will probably forget cats, but you are more than welcome to show me it if you remember. I also didn't get to check out that video. I've been swamped, man. I've been really swamped. And next week, uh, there are I'm going well, not going away, but there are four days in a row where I'm doing stuff, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be hard to make videos for those four days. Spangle Boost says I can't hear the noises. I turn the volume down like a lot. Let's 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 readjust the volumes a little bit. All right, let's readjust. Right at my favourite part of this song. Oh jeez, I'm struggling to readjust. Uh, volume mixer, please. Okay, I've turned them up a little bit, Spangle. And uh, we, yeah, cats. Thank you so much for the bits. We got to burn your bridges here. A donation saying, "Bam!" Well, burn your bridges. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. It is appreciate. Right. Let's get back into this. Man, that, I feel like there needs to be a torch around here. Maybe a few like that. And just a couple of leaves at the base. I think Scar would be proud of me placing leaves and building paths. It's looking good around here, isn't it? Oh, oh it's gorgeous. I'm learning. I'm learning, peeps. I'm learning how it's done. We got more noises in the ear. Small Mongol Mongolian. Small Mongolian child has uh, subscribed to Amazon Prime. Thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. And I believe we are being raided, peeps. Uh, cats in chat saying, welcome raiders. Yes, we are indeed being raided. Uh, Coral Psych or Sky Sky? Coral Sky. Jeez. L oh, why is... Oh, hang on, peeps. I believe there are some violent winds outside. Okay, it's getting a little bit windy. It was just worrying me. It's blowing the blinds around. You know, sometimes those winds get pretty violent. Uh, Coral Sky, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. And to all the peeps tuning in, uh, welcome to the Hermitcraft server. We are building a path and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful, I know. Let's continue making it look gorgeous, right? Oh, and there is Good Times of Scar. Scar has been spotted. It has happened. Uh, we only got one type of slab now, and it's that type. What is he doing? He's sort of, he's sort of in this area. There's a Scar swimming. <laughs> Why, why, why do I feel the need to say what he's doing? Oh, there's a creeper there. I need to get me some valuable gunpowder. And Scar goes off in the sky. A mysterious sky. Oh, jeez! A mysterious scar in the sky. And there we go. We've got the... Uh... Carl Syke says, Great use of the new strip logs. Yes, they're very nice, those textures, aren't they? I can't fly. Look, it looked like you could fly to me, buddy. Jeez. Getting all up in the air there. Getting it all up in the air. Right. Um, you will be those materials. And our strip loggies. I think we have one there as well. Bam. I guess we probably need some more path locks here as well. And you know what? Putting path blocks in front of your stairs means you've got to replace those little green pixels. That's a little annoyance. A little annoyance, got to say. Not really a big deal, though, is it? Okay, so taking those ones out. Um, I feel like I feel like maybe we should look for a little bit of a bit of a barrier here. Let's pull that out. Let's do something like that, and then just throw down a few leaves without without really creating like a, a sort of boundary or barrier. Um, but that in itself, I think, really helps. Yeah, I kind of like that a lot, actually. I'm going to guide you through where you're going. And uh, let's not forget about our 
torches, so those are these three blocks. Again, the management, always the management. Gonna have that right there. That's a nice distance from the last one. And we'll put our next one right here. Now, this might be a good place to... Mr. Scar is being mysterious, doing flybys and stuff, isn't he? That's what's going on there. Uh, this feels like a place for the path to become kind of open and just be what leads... To... Alright, so this this is the thing that I'm, I was kind of excited for, was we need to connect the area over there to the area over here. This, this, this portal is temporary, but when people come through it, they need to know there's multiple places to go to. Now, somewhere around here, there is a path. It appears to be back on this side. Right, and, you know, I'm feeling lazy. I think I'm going to continue the theme they've gone for. If we grab some spruce slabs, bring the path through this space, over to here, and then it can connect to there. Perfectly. So, let's treat this like it's going to be... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it doesn't have to be even, does it? We'll have it... Sorry. Is it even or odd? No, it was an odd number. We'll, we'll have it an even number. Bam, there we go. Oh, jeez! Is Cub Fan online? I think they're working together on something, peeps. Okay, the winds are getting violent. I'm going to have to put down my headset and quickly sort this out. Fun fact for you, it's really hot in here. It's really hot. And the wind means I have to... The, the windows were practically closed and I've got to close them further. Poor old X. Poor old X. They so, hope these winds bring some coolness with them. Um, the Brad Guy 533 has subscribed. The Brad Guy, thank you for subscribing. It is appreciated. Thank you ever so much. Are you in the UK, says Buffalo. I am in the UK indeed. Tactical Thunderix says, oh my god. I hope I hope everything is okay. That sounded like a, a, a quite an alarming response. Right, um, so what was it? Spruce slabs? Oh, look at that. We've got plenty. Well, we'll bring those with us. We will bring those with us. Is Chiarian online? I want to see the old new bee. Uh, Chiarian is not online right now. It's got a few of us online. The building's good, which is nice. Angry Canine says, really frustrating that you can't tab out of Minecraft or AFK fishing. Yeah, you know why they do it, though. They're right. I think they're right to do it. It's, I think it becomes a problem when lots of people start doing that stuff. It was it was fun for a while, but I think the fun is over. Um, I'm also thinking that maybe the other path should come around this side. I mean, it was going to come up the hill, right? But then it, uh, I guess it's going to have to just go through this space. We'll probably turn all of this into path blocks. And so even though that's there, you can still go around that way. And I'm, I'm kind of talking about uh, talking out loud about connecting paths there. It might not make too much sense. Okay, so keeping this path right here nice and simple, we shall not even bother to... Uh, what? <laughs> I, you know, sometimes they're stubborn. Sometimes they're stubborn. Right, see? This person didn't do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, that being said, it will eventually turn to, like, a dirt colour. So, you kind of get away with it with the spruce, I guess. Alright, not every block needs to be a path block. Okay, cool. Um... Right, and then we sort of come to this bit. Let's put our slabs there. Get out some grass blocks. And just cover this up a little bit more. Alright, I think that's going to work. That's pretty obvious that this is a path.
Why did they make 64 a stack, says Ash Blazington? That is a good question. I believe, I believe, I believe um, that it is a like computer coding number, so it's like a predefined value based off of uh, binary, how numbers like double frequently. At this point in time, it should be really obvious for anyone in the area. You can also come over here now. Okay, no excuses. If you see them in their video, they don't come over here. Go, oi, there's a turtle shop over there. Alright. That's what you got to do for me now. Um, I think this will also go off in that direction. Just to kind of make it obvious from whatever angle you're looking at it at. So you can also go across this way. There we are. So, not properly developed, but something that just links things together and says, hey, there's a place over here as well. And that's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need. Uh, we got a donation here, noise in the ear, from Ali N. Ali N is saying, I have a code for card life. Is you want it, Asuma? Contact me if you do. I don't know what card life is, so I'm not sure if I would want it. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, and of course, thank you for the donation. Um, appreciate it. I just, I don't know what that is, so... So yeah, I, if anyone can tell me what card life is, jeez. I'm all about that card life, bro. Clearly not. Clearly not. I don't even know what it is. Jeez. So this is kind of where I think my type of path needs to end, and it needs to connect with um, this one over here. Let's sort out those doubles. Um, so we'll use less of the blocks that we have been using. Not by a crazy amount, just a little bit. There we are. Binary is base 2. 64 is a power of 2, making it a commonly used power on, uh, number on computers, says Tree. There's Tree with a down-to-earth... Tree talking about computers, goodness me. Down-to-earth answer there. It's a game where everything is cardboard, says Samaruno. Okay, that doesn't really tell me a lot. Card Life is a science fantasy PC survival game made out of recycled cardboard. So a f science fantasy. I mean, I, I guess I'll have to research it and find out what, what it's all about. Ah, we totally needed some of these in the area, didn't we? This is exactly what we needed over here. Especially with this long uh, cobblestone wall right here. We need some serious sort sorting outage is what we need. I think I might put one more. I'm going to get a little bit rebellious and put one extra up there. Oh, cheeky devil I am. Cheeky devil. Okay, let's turn all of this into... Uh, well, maybe not all of it, but path blocks. Alright, so this bit here. We're not going to have a crazy amount. Just a few. And then just a few of these. One there. And I think that'll do. I think that'll do. That's a nice transition to this area. Now we've got to figure out the path on this side. It's going to be very different. Um, this bit right here, I've already decided. Oh, let's put some torches right there. This side right here, this bit, is literally going to be path all the way through, I think. Now we've got to fix up this stuff. Asuma, how do you have time to watch every Hermit's video and make it your own? I don't get how you or the HC recap manager. Well, when I'm recording and making videos throughout the day, um, I have two monitors. I put a Hermitcraft video on the other monitor. That's pretty much it. I've been doing my best to uh, to keep up with everything this season. I just, I've just really been enjoying it and I want to uh, really kind of live this season, you know. Really get into it and see where it goes. Right, and I think that's, that's a pretty good job on the path. We need to kind of Bring it back. Oh, what did I just see over there? Could have swore I saw something like a creeper drop down. I wasn't entirely looking at whatever is over there, though. Um, let's put one of these here. So we need more oak wood. Let's go get more oak wood. Hey, X, I think Jarian looks like Ed Sheeran. Uh, I would not think that myself, I guess. Maybe, maybe a little bit. 
I don't know. Uh, Wellesh, World of Tanks, is here already subscribed for eight months in a row saying, Hi, how are you, X? I'm good, thanks for asking, buddy. Thank you for your resubscription. It's appreciated. Hoovy Master says, Can someone tell me a practical use for Turtle Master Plots? Turtle Master Plots? I don't even know what those are. And I'm a Turtle Master. I should know. There we go, there's some oak logs that we need. This area is turning out wonderful, isn't it? X, what do you like to read? Says Texas Nomad. I like to read books about the brain and how the brain works. That's my kind of reading. I want to know what's going on in my own noggin, you know. Beyond my own control. Um, how about... Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave a couple of gra grass blocks. Oops. Not a crazy amount, but a couple. Can't be having you right in the middle here, can we? Now, what durability is 60? Goodness me, it's going down quick, isn't it? It's going down quick. Right, I think that's probably enough at the moment. I think we've done our work here. Uh, maybe a bit extra on that side, and then here is where this is where the path is now going to be big and proper. So let's go build that big and proper path, you know. Let's get rid of this cobble as well, we don't need that anymore. Uh, so we've got a noise in here, donation here from Tree! Saying, what do you call a tree that wants to be a dog? A bark! Aha! Uh -huh. Stay awesome. Tree, thanks so much for donation and support, man. <laughs> what do you call a tree that wants to be a dog? A bark. Goodness me. Goodness me. There's a joke. There's a joke. <laughs> Let's go throw down some saplings. Let's throw them down. Jeez. Rip turtle scrim. Scrim. Jeez. Skin says demon boxes. Turtle skin be no more. No more is what the turtle skin is. R.I.P. Turtle skin. We'll see you again soon, I'm sure. This won't be the end of the turtle skin. You know, part of me wanted to leave it on for the whole season. Asuma, kill Scar and say that your mouse is glitching and that you were trying to plug it and unplug it. I need to laugh before going to bed, says Crazy Pyro. Crazy Pyro? But it, I've read your message out loud now, so I can't do that, because then someone will point out that I read your message saying that I would do exactly that. Ah, oh, damn it. If I'd have thought of that myself, we could have killed Scar. Right, I will take... I will take these blocks, and I will use them to make a thing. Peeps, we're going to make a thing. Wonderful. And another noise from here. By the way, I've got some tea that needs some sippage. We need some sippage action over here. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that the tea needs sipping and needs drinking. Needs to happen, peeps. Let's get these leaves decaying as well. Uh, Sniper1974 is here. Resubscribing for 28 months in a row. And we also have T1XD. Subscribe with Amazon Prime. Well, thank you so much to the both of you for the wonderful support. Hope you're uh, enjoying today's stream. That is some good tea. By the way, ladies and gentlemen... It is time in our live stream now for an eye break reminder. It is time to look away from the screen. That's right, this streamer is encouraging you not to watch. No, I don't mean close the window. Please don't do that. Please don't close that window. Just look away. Just look outside. Look at something that isn't a bright screen. We spend a lot of time in the day looking at uh, our phones, our iPads, our screens. And those doctors, those eye doctors, they tell you to look away five minutes every hour. Now I know what you're thinking, Assume I ain't going to look away for five minutes, get back on with the stream. I agree, I'll get back on with the stream. Mmm, that's some delicious tea. Oh. oh, goodness me. Right. Okay, so I have my little eye break. Not, not a full eye break. Turn the blue light filter on, says the real Zinni. Mine comes on automatically for me at half eight. I can't help but feel it might be wiser to uh, to use that more often anyway, but they say it's best like to use it in in the evening. They say, I don't even know who this mysterious they are. The authorities, the powers that be, the information I once heard that was passed on to me second hand, and I don't even know who this mysterious they are. Are they even real scientists? Are they even doctors? Why do I just listen to what people say without doing my own research? I don't know. 
X should combine your eye breaks with a little stretch. Uh, well, I sit down when I stream. I do have a standing desk, and we did used to stand a lot, but I, uh, I started getting headaches, so I'm kind of waiting for the winter to roll around and uh, try and get back into that again. Right, so over on this side, we are going to go with far more birch, far more of a uniformed layout. Let's actually start with some slabbage, lay out the path, lay out the layer of the land, except it's not a land, it's a path, so that doesn't make much sense, does it? No, it doesn't. Why did I talk? Why do I even talk and say stuff sometimes? I don't know. I should stop putting my brain in charge. So this thing's going to be about three wide. I don't want to go too close to that tree. So that's the three wide we're going to be working with. I think we might just work with a steady slope to begin with. Then that steady slope is going to get perhaps a little bit above. <laughs> Scar's going to like that. Hey, we kind of built this at a really good spot. That being said, it looks like it might come a little bit short for the top. So I don't know how this staircase is really going to end. Or maybe it just, maybe it ends around here and becomes a bit rickety. Let's try that. Let's try and make a rickety staircase. So, so I guess that's all legit. Right, and other people will probably want to use this path as well. So let's actually leave the corners open. Little three by three grid here of um, strip logs with... Oh, we've run out of our posts. We've run out of posts, peeps. I need my posts. Let's take that. Make some sticks. Uh, let's break down four of those. And somewhere around here it will give me the birch fences that I desire. I desire them. Bill Patrick's Rock or Krusty the Crab in Green's Bay. I don't know what either of those things are. They're, they're Spongebob things, aren't they? See, I didn't, I didn't watch Spongebob, so I, mi I missed the old Spongebob. I was uh, too old for that. Past my generation. Bam, right. Yeah, that'll work. Let's put the torches on top. So this can be like a bit of a crossroad for some other plots. In fact, I'm going to put that in to kind of signify. Go off in those directions if you want. Now here is where we're going to build our wall. We're going to build a wall, peeps. And we're going to make Scar pay for it. Should we make Scar pay for it? I think that might be a bit mean, making someone else pay for the wall that I want to build. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's keep with this pattern here. So uh, I'm not putting it on top of these blocks because I think it looks ugly when you have that. You need it to go all the way down to the base. So uh, we'll build it up like so. <laughs> How old are you, X? People are saying. Too old for SpongeBob. I can't believe the President of the United States of Hermit Crouch has said that. Wait, that, that doesn't make any sense. Jeez. Right, now that's going to end up being a little bit plain. So uh, we will need to come back and address that wall when it's ready. Uh, on this side, though, nice and easy, I reckon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at it, all the blocks are practically in the perfect spot. Right, now somewhere around here it needs to start getting rickety, and I think that is the spot. That is the spot of the ricketiness. Okay? The ricketiness is very important for us. That just happens to pretty much be the bare minimum right there, doesn't it? That's the bare minimum. Uh... Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't put that there. Maybe what we need is some grass blocks. Something like that. Jeez, it's almost working. On this side. And then we'll probably put two and two here. 
I think we're just gonna just about gonna get away with that. Uh, the Ghost King says I'm 32 and I love Minecraft. Age has nothing to do with it. I think that I think the real reality is that it's never it's never the thing. It's the person. They say you're only as you're only as old as you think, or you're only as young as you feel, or something like that. There's a lot of truth to that. I think there's a, there's a, there's something called a, the self-fulfilling prophecy in life, peeps. If you tell yourself something over and over again, it will probably end up being true. Now, if you tell yourself you're going to win the lottery, now nah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the things in your life that you have control of. What you think about yourself, what you think about things that you do, they can turn into self-fulfilling prophecies, you know. Because you think them over and over again, you make them come true. I don't know what I don't know how we got onto that, so I don't know where I'm going to finish that point. Jeez, that's it. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, this is going to need a little bit of work over here. I think actually some terraforming might be the answer to this. Because that's just a bit too much, isn't it? Uh, or we put leaves at the base. So some leaves are growing up. This big old ugly wall that's been put in this area. Oh, and over here I did it completely wrong, didn't I? Well, what did I just say about terraforming? Oh. Yeah, so maybe a little bit like that. Let's try the leaves. A few leaf blocks here and there. This, I think, has got some uh, shui to it. That's working, I think. I reckon this is all alright. I think it looks pretty good now, actually. I'm quite happy with that. That's just turned out very well. Very well. What do y'all think of that then? Amazing Dave says, You're only as old as you think. You're you're only as young as you feel. Uh, you only feel the young when you think you're old. Something like that anyway. The first bit sound, no, the first two lines sounded right. The third line I hadn't heard before. 10 out of 10 says Yuri22. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. 10 out of 10 is a good score. X, you should both make a swap shop or a fast food restaurant, or both. What's a swap shop? Sounds kind of interesting. I wanted to put some corals in here, by the way, some coral fans. Some colourful, colourful coral fans. We'll actually be able to grow them, um, so we'll probably wait for that. Wait for uh, the next update and grow them ourselves. Was I short of birch slabs? No, I think, I think, did we just do everything? Like, we want to put some light sources up there. I think maybe a couple more bushes over on this side. Uh, maybe just about here. We've got two more as well. Let's cover up that nasty gap. Something like that. I think that's looking great. Oh, there's a bit of a log up there that needs sorting out. Sweet! Amazing. So that's a path. Going all the way around from one side to the other. The thing that's missing is just a bit of a, like a light source, I think, somewhere around the middle here. I kind of don't want to put these fence posts on the path. So maybe we'll put one off to the side, like, uh, hmm, where's the middle? This is kind of about the middle. Let's put one there. Put that on top of it and give it a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now it needs one below it. Great. Let's actually just put that there. <laughs> All right. That's, I think, okay. Uh, no, it doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hey, maybe just a torch on the ground. Probably not going to notice those. And they'll provide a little bit of light leading over into this area. Make sure this is somewhat lit up around here. Cool. I think we've done a fantastic job here, peeps. Looking wonderful. Neil Z says, what is the music playing in the background? We're listening to Lord Leviticus. The name of the song is written on the bottom left of the screen. We also got noises in the ear from Con Manager. Con Manager, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate it. Keep managing those cons. Goodness me. And also Angry K9 is here for the nation saying, did you know the Atlanta Showcase video was the first video of yours that I ever watched? I just watched it again and it gave me the urge to donate. I love that huge tree you were building in Asuma's World too. Keep up the great work, X. I... 
I'm not so fond of that big tree, but Mr. Angry K9, thank you so much for your donation, man. Greatly appreciate the support as always. Atlantis. That was probably one of my first videos that like got a hundred thousand views or something like that. It's kind of crazy watching that one grow. Um, yeah, and I did. I wasn't a big fan of that tree. Like it was a great idea, and then when I got into doing it, I kind of went, "Oh, this is really tough. This is like the, I've picked something really out of my uh, skill set here." You know. Uh, I missed a torch on the junction. This is Hunt Ghost. I did, didn't I? What a silly sausage. I also feel like the paths here should step down. Let's actually put them one block lower. Now with all of that done, we are actually like in a pretty good position. Oh, jeez. Pretty good position now to move on to something else. So a few other things on my list that I want to do. Always lots of stuff to be done. I've been very organized with planning things uh, this season, which is good. Now this this I don't want to have a path to. I think I just want to leave it like this. So we'll chuck down some bone mill so there is like a bit of growth, growthage in the area. We don't want any flowers though. Just want some grass. That's that's fine by me. Um, and then we need to transform the land here a little bit. As you will see, it is unfortunately suffering from a case of creeper and God knows what. <laughs> it got blown up. Actually, this is just me creating a massive overhang. So. We need to make this look a little bit better. And I don't think that's going to be too difficult, to be fair. Just need to bring it down a little bit at a time. Yeah, so I'm going to need more dirt blocks. I'm not sure I actually brought any with me, so this might end up a little bit short, peeps. It might just be a bit short. We will see. Right, let's go find out if we've got any more. Uh, yellow one underscore is here throwing bits at me doing cheers, saying cheer, 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 cheer. Where is the time that I still watch Minecraft? Uh, bringing back the memories and maybe I should start to play again. Do whatever's fun, man. Like, uh, you know, like it can be a new adventure again. Sometimes it's just a curiosity. Just do what's fun, man. If it feels fun to play again, go for it. Have some, have some fun with the game. Why not? It's an amazing game. I mean, jeez, you can't knock it really, but uh, why not? So I think I think that's all of the dirt. Oh, look, I didn't notice this. What a dirt. What an idiot. What a buffoon. Assume, do spawners spawn in randomly? Or can I visit the same coordinates in your server and find the same spawner? Um, with 1.13, things are a little bit on the dodgy side. So uh, dungeon spawning is stingy this season. The dungeons are not where they should be. So that might change at a future date. If you open it up in 1.13, it should be good. But who knows what kind of problems are uh, lurking in the code, you know. It might not actually uh, do what it's supposed to do. Who knows. Okay, getting a little bit steep here now, aren't we? Got to watch out for that. Might have to bring this uh, down into the water. Actually, this is getting, like, ridiculously steep. I feel like all generation is off, says McLurkey. There is definitely a lack of diamonds. We're going to go dig for some diamonds uh, this stream, actually. Okay, so we've got one of uh, Ren's markers here. Really glad that he did that. It was a very invalu invalu invaluable, is that the correct word? Like... It's a very important thing that needed doing. Right, now this is a little bit on the ugly side. I'm actually going to leave it like that though, I think. If it's really a bother to someone, they could come patch it up a little bit. But chances are, this won't really get noticed too much. So, that's that. How much more of this area are we going to come and change and do? I don't know. We've got a beautiful path going around the outside. Connecting with the other area. And uh, it's kind of ready for this place to expand now. We've got our little crossroads for other players to come and build paths and shops. And I might build something big here, sort of overlooking that. I might take this area for myself. I don't know, though. But uh, I think we are genuinely done here. So Ghostmander says, is there a problem with mob spawning 1.13? They built a normal mob grinder, no spawner, and it's not spawning anything. Um, I don't know. You see, the thing the thing with the I built a mob farm, it's not working, is it's usually technical, right? You gotta 
you've got to figure out what's going on in your world and diagnose it that way. And it's usually lack of lighting up caves, perhaps not standing in the right place to AFK. It usually comes, if, if your mob farm is not working and you're not a technical player, it usually comes from the lack of knowledge of what's making them work. So you have to learn more about how they work to understand what you need to do. You don't just build the farm, there's more to it than that. Am I? Did I? No, I just skipped over the chest I was looking for. Okay, so I think we're good to head out of here pretty much. Just got to find a home for these blocks. And uh, we're nice and tidy over here. Let's grab that. Looking good. Right, so we will take our Silk Touch pick and uh, take this thing. Yo Butter says, one does not simply build a farm. Exactly, one does not simply build a farm. There's so much more to do. Your mouse is dumb, says I, Chad. Uh, mouse, what's 10 times 10? 100? Alright, you know, maybe it's not dumb. Jeez, I don't know. It's just a mouse. Did you have your eye break already, says Robbie does. I did have my eye break. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed looking away. It rested thy eyes. Thy eyes have been rested. Now let's go look at my notes for... Oh, what was the thing I said I needed to do earlier? Oh yeah, that was it. Data pack. Goodness me, so much stuff on this list. Needs taken care of. Um, so we have worked on the, the paths around the shop. Brilliant. I guess... Uh, I think I'm going to leave that one. Yes, we've got a couple more jobs to do then. Uh, next one involves digging, of all things. Goodness me, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Got to go dig a hole somewhere, <laughs> basically. Ghost Manda says, I built the farm in the spawn chunk, so shouldn't it always work? There you go. So, a lack of understanding on how mob spawning works is probably one of the reasons it doesn't. Um, no, if you build a mob farm in the spawn chunks, the spawn chunks are always loaded. Mob spawning happens in relation to player. If there's no player in those chunks, then no mobs are going to spawn there. Did I just hear like a zombie thing? Corei says, any plans for the gaming district? I think a swimming course at Dolphin's Grace would be cool. Um, that's already an idea we discussed as a group, so I don't know who will do that, but it's on my list. Eventually I might do it. Um, there is no gaming district. It's decentralized this season, so you build based on a theme. Hoovy Master says, can you brew a Turtle Master Potion? I think you would enjoy it. I've been meaning to brew some potions. I got some brewing stands. I found them in a chest earlier. I actually forgot that I had them. So we're going to walk across the island. We are kind of walking on the edge of the shopping district. That is like the either the tail end of the modern or it's part of the medieval. This over here is definitely the medieval. Also, I don't know why there is a giant marker there. There is a chest. I'm guessing someone's going to build there then. Lol, the drowned was trying to get you in your bed, says Jay's on fire. Where was that drowned then? Because there ain't no... Actually, there probably was some water nearby, wasn't there? Sebastian says, a vertical water maze would be cool. Kind of would be like an, anti, an ant farm, I guess, but you could put the glass in front. That's a really cool idea. That's going on the list. I'm literally copy and pasting that. Sebastian, GG. Uh, where am I? Like, there we go. That's been that. That will make a really cool game later in the season. It was Doc Ship, Captain Efo. Um, we were quite a ways away from that when we slept in the bed. I don't think we would have heard it from there. What's the theme of this season? Says Gacko. There's many themes: pirate, fantasy, medieval, modern. Futuristic, industrial. And then there's the shopping area. Spangleboo says, I kind of don't like how common kelp is. There is a lot of it, isn't there? I think one of the big problems with kelp, though, is that it grows. I actually, you'll see it in a future episode of mine. I sort of pointed out that as you approach the area around this island, all of a sudden there's like a line where these things are fully grown and it's where players have loaded the chunks if you press like F3 and G um, you'll see pretty much like this like 
there's like a chunk border where the ones over here the kelp is small and then all of a sudden it's taller and that's because you've been like the players loaded the area and the kelp has grown that big make a trident flying course when it rains is geometric that would kind of be like an elytra flying course right anyway the place we're going to go dig down to bedrock and uh, make a farm well jeez I'm starting to reveal some stuff here we're, we're digging. We're digging for diamonds, and we're digging for a, pie, uh, a project me and Python are working on. And we're doing it over here. Can you do fantasy themes? Says Hoover Master. My plan is to build in every district, so at some point I'm sure I will. Spangleboo says it's as bad as vines creeping all over the place. Yeah, vines do spread a lot, don't they? We're digging for a python, says Shifu. Yeah, I say some silly things when I stream, you know. Asuma, which mob would you say is the most dangerous? The creeper? It can blow stuff up. It can blow up TNT. If you've got a pile of TNT lying around, whew, don't let a creeper near it. Right, we're sort of in the spot. I need to get the coordinates from python now. Giarian has messaged me. What does Giarian say? Um... There is Python with the coordinates, so let's find this. 442-1375. is here. 137... Oh, wow. Okay, that's apparently... Let's double check. This is the... Uh, northwest. Northwest... And the other one is south. Yeah, okay, so I know exactly where we are. And that's the block. So what we're going to do... Ah, I can't use too much more of this. That's that's where we're going to start digging. This is where we're not digging. Um, I kind of need to get out of this hole. Right, so we know we're digging down now. That's cool. And then somewhere in here I should have a load of ladders. Uh, there's some ladders. Can we get some more? Oh, yes, we can. That should be a good amount of ladders. Cool, let's go down. Hoovy Master says, Also, X, have you considered changing the enchant on your weapon to smite? Um, I did, but no, because for what I'm currently using it for, I don't think we really need smite. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. That's where we need to be. So this is the corner of uh, the space that we're digging. Will you freestyle for me, please? Says Tut Tut. I I got no rhymes in my mind, but if I think, I might find some rhymes that rhyme with uh, poorly timed, because that was a terrible flow. Don't you know that the flow was so bad that I couldn't come up with a rhyme quick enough? I've had enough of rhyming. Not very good at this. Let's call it a miss. Let's give it a pass. I'm going to finish last. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was a sumo. That was an official sumo rap right there. Oh, jeez. People are saying rip scow. <laughs> oh, who remembers that episode with Mumbo where we just ran around in circles? That was great. Hey, I don't mind mining some iron. Cool, thank you. Until you have 100 and you're in uh, and you're in water columns, sounds like he's doing some fancy stuff. Sounds like there's a lot of them, and there's some craziness going on around there. Open water for the win, apparently. Joe Hills has mad flow, though, says McLurkey. Joe Hills is uh, a genius. <laughs> He's a literal genius. Or a literary genius. I think he would like that one. I will take all of those. Thank you very much. We need the iron. 
I was speaking a Cub fan and uh, asking him about his beacon. He didn't have he didn't have a full beacon yet. It's going to take some work to get a full beacon on this server, jeez. Iron isn't stingy, thank goodness. Right, let's. Uh, oh, let's. Oh, oh, iron. I'll say that over and over again. I will. Iron. I'm actually getting quite a bit of iron to give. Oh goodness me, don't kill me, please, Mr. Zombie. Oh, oh. Okay, we're fine. We're actually fine. No need to panic. Oh, do I want to go on a cave in adventure? Not really, but do I want the, the... I do want the iron. I do very much. I hear moaning and groaning. I think we'll... Oh! Let's, get, get, let's go back from where we came. Hastily. Collecting the iron as well. What are they talking about? Staying away from ocean movements. Can't die from guardians if you never see a guardian. No pain, no gain, no green. <laughs> what are they talking about? I think there should be a forge enchant that makes golden iron drop ingots, says Mini Bot. I like the idea of an auto smelt. I think that would be cool. It's not really necessary though, that's the thing. It's just a modded idea, I guess. Let's put that there to destroy the water. Brilliant. Genius. Genius! Um, I need some... I need some sticks. I usually keep a stack of wood in my inventory. That always feels like a very smart thing to do. Okay, no creepers creeping up on me. Gonna destroy my silk touch and my ender chest. No, 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 no. Right, make of them torches. And, oh, well, there's some iron. Thanks for the iron. There's one more. Smart guy Wells, you can't die to a garden if you've never seen one, says White Wings. What if someone brings one to your base in a boat? That, that is a cheeky little bit of lava. What level are we at then? 22. A random block of lava at 22. I guess it's one of those ones that generates in caves and then flows through it, but it didn't actually generate in the cave or flow through it. So it's a special type of lava, peeps. It's a rare type of lava. You don't normally see that. It's like the never lava, isn't it? Where it's just in the, in the wall, ready to get you. Right, we should be near the bottom now. I think we're going to go to about Y8. Start digging around there. What are we at? Why? Well, that's just magical, that is. I figured it out exactly. Cool. This is the corner of the area that we're digging. Now we've got to get to the other corner. Um, I know that it goes across 10 blocks, but I'm not sure which way. What are you doing, says Tunda? I'm digging, man. We're playing some Minecraft, digging a hole. So the other coordinates we need to get to are 413 and 1366. 413 1366. Uh, 413. Mm, I am disorientated. Let's start off with that second number. Let's just double check it. 1366. I kind of assumed the other one was the one that. Uh, there we go. That's the one we needed to go to. So now we're on the edge of the area. Now we've got to go in this direction to 413. Wow. Is that really right? 442 to 413. Fair enough. Let's dig all the way there. Iron is bad for your health, says Dave. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. Jeez, are you eating it? Probably is bad. Diggy diggy hole, anyone? Says uh, not a void. That's, going, that's rolling back the ears a little bit. By the way, thank you everyone for tuning in to today's stream. Let's do some plugs. Oh, let, oh it's my favourite part of the stream. It's time to plug stuff. Play.assumavoid.com. You've probably heard it before. If you head over there to my Minecraft server in Minecraft 1.12 and uh, you type slash hermitcraft in chat, uh, you can go and check out the Season 5 world. The world of the Season of the Five. Um, you can explore it in 1.12. It's on a server for you. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope that sounds like something you want to do. Cool. What other plugs can we do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got a. Di What's that? I got a Discord server. Y you can join it for free. Yeah, that's right. You can. You can join it for free. Thanks for asking, by the way. 
Is it really fun? Yeah, it is. It's great, great fun on the Discord server. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's one of Tango's uh, strip mine things. Right. Right. I know what that is. It's a Tango strip mine. Tang Tango be mining in this area. Jeez. Watch out, people. Don't you know? Lol, sellout X is best. I'm a sellout. I'm selling out. Oh, did my YouTube overlay ever fix? Brilliant. Come subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm not even going to tell you what my channel is. Jeez. I forgot about that. That definitely needs fixing. I can't see the stream, says JPICT. Can you hear it? Can you hear us? X, is there a Hermitcraft stream day coming up, says Betty Bag Daddy. I was supposed to organise that last night and I forgot. Let me put it on my list. Jeez, my list is terrible. Stream day. Oh, there we go. Uh, we will get a Hermitcraft stream day organised. We will. Uh, Max Hill says, What do you say to people who called you before anyone was able to say a sumer? Uh, they called me by my name. By my birth name. You know. They didn't go person with no name. Jeez. Per person soon to be called a sumer. That's not what they called me. Uh, Fumbling Archer is here. Subscribing with Amazon Prime. Peeps, we'll do another We'll do another little plug on the screen. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can use it to subscribe to a streamer for free. It doesn't have to be me. It can be whoever you like. But Fumbling Archer, thank you for your Amazon Prime subscription. You can now use the emotes in chat. Surprise Tulpa says, Ah, I feel kind of awkward that I can't... Uh, that I can't attend X can't X attention and had to repeat myself and had to repeat what that's just a message designed to make my brain dirt just trying to make my brain dirt I see what you're doing I know your plan I know your shenanigans ooh okay there is some sort of thing here and then the thing ends well goodbye thing you are no more we need this area here. I, although I'm digging out like the space, I think the space eh, needs to be a little bit bigger in a couple of places. We've got no diamonds yet. I'm hoping we get some diamonds at some... I'm hoping by saying that we need diamonds, we're about to uncover some. Doesn't look likely though, does it? Have you ever... Well... You know... What I really need right now is some diamonds. I need some diamonds behind these blocks right here. Okay, that didn't work again. That didn't work again. Hang on. Let's change the strategy. Let's go back over here. Let's dig down this side. What I really... Peeps, I need you to join me in chat. You need to say it. You need to say, what he really needs right now is some more diamonds. Let's see if we can tempt the Minecraft gods. Also, is it me, or when I break this block, do I get like a flicker of the sort of behind the caves view? Felt like it. Okay, I don't want to dig too far. There's some of that iron. Wow, we've got a long way to go. This is a big old space we've got to dig out. I just saw diamonds, says J Jura Moon. Where did you see them? Peeps in chat are saying, more diamonds, more diamonds. I want more diamonds, jeez. More diamonds would be nice. Why do you need the spaces, Ash Blazington? You'll have to find out on a future episode of Hermitcraft. Coming to you on Monday, I believe. Jeez, Monday's episode. Goodness me. Got to get ahead. Got lots to do this week. You need a beacon, mate, like ASAP, says HD Plays. Couldn't agree more. Someone should bring me a beacon, shouldn't they? Someone should log on and bring me a beacon. Iron is bad for your health, says Dave. You st I, I read that the last time. It's still bad for my health, is it? Uh, did we really dig all the way across there? I don't think we did. I think we just dug out a little bit. Look, this is wider here. Do you fancy sad music? <laughs> Says Aqua Guy. I, I like sad music, yes, why? What do you love about streaming? I I just like how chilled out it is. It it takes your mind off of things. You just you're just here in this moment, chatting with some peeps, playing some games, having a good time. 
expressing yourself, doing cool Minecraft stuff, you know, it's all chill. What I'd really like right now is some diamonds, peeps. Some diamonds. Oh, if only we could find some diamonds. Okay, it didn't work. Didn't work that time. Right, now no mobs should be able to spawn down here and blow anything up. Gonna take a little bit of this. Gonna take out some of this over here. X, I suggest to add a beacon that will block mob spawn. I think it's possible via command blocks. Probably is, but uh, I think I think it's taking Hermitcraft too far. I would I would love for Hermitcraft to have a little bit something extra going on beyond vanilla, but that what that would be would always just be my preference, like my type of modded, right? So it doesn't really make sense because everyone's got a different opinion. What everyone can agree on is, hey, you're playing, you're playing. Everyone can agree on. Agree, agreeing. Gre oh, oh, that'll get old quickly, won't it? That'll get old quickly. Right now, let's go into Tango's. Oh, it's sort of the end of his corridor. Well, well then, it is what it is. Uh, should we? How tall does this room need to be realistically? Like block here, block there, block there. One, two. Actually, it probably does need to go to about this height. It might just squeeze into this room, so uh, we'll start we'll start digging through. T <laughs> I'm sure Tango won't mind. I'm sure he won't mind that we're doing something here. It's just a branch mine, you know. So we're going to we're gonna take out all of that as well, basically. That's what I'm saying. Maybe not all of it right now. It's a bit boring. But uh, let's at least see if we can get some some more diamonds. That's what I'm thinking. And now I've got some stinky, some stinky dirt right as well. Iskow will want that. Is X making a slime farm? Says Apple Man. I am not making a slime farm. Good guess, good guess. But uh, no, we are here for something else. I think, I think what I'm going to do is dig, dig the border for the area up round the outside to the end, back round again, and then we'll move on to another little job that we got to do. Actually, yeah, that'll be that'll be a lot more fun. Um, the other job for this stream, we should be able to get some more diamonds as well. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got a bit of a plan developing here, is what I'm saying. But hopefully, we'll find a few more diamonds by doing this. Also, what's the highest that I can dig? Can I dig that? Right, that's okay. That's unfortunate. If I aim like that, though, that's the highest that I can dig. Cool. Uh, do it. Miles is here throwing bits at me, doing cheers, throwing bits my way. Appreciate it, man. Saying I love you. Ah, oh, very, very kind of you to say so. Thank you for your passion and your support. Appreciate it. I hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. That's adorable. Um, we also got more noises in the air, and I realise I don't know how far behind I'm. At. Apparently, I'm six minutes behind. I am terrible. I should drink some water. Peeps, drink some water. Hydrate. Replenish your fluids. Okay, it's good for you. It's healthy. I'm going to go for a run later. I need to make sure I'm properly. Uh, Properly hydrated. Ancient Pug Joe has resubscribed for 12 months in a row. Peeps, that's one year. That's a goldie face in chat. So thank you so much for your continued support. Aaron, JK and Commander Keem have subscribed with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using your Prime subscriptions on me. I appreciate it. Uh, 2004 Destroyer says Spider Farm question mark. It's not. It's not. It's not a creeper farm either. It's the type of farm that has nothing to do with where we are right now, literally. Although it sort of does at the same time. You probably won't guess it, basically, is what I'm saying. Let's get some more of that beautiful redstone, and I need to get that iron as well. I need it. need it in my life. And that bit there, bam. Sweet! Right, uh, I think my inventory might be a bit full at this point in time. Okay, how high up are we digging here? Jeez, all, all messed up now, aren't I? There we go, that's proper. Right, two sticks, do I want them? No. Actually, yes I do. <laughs> I do, I'll turn them into torches. Cool, and uh, we'll just throw away those two blocks. Right, now we have all the stuff and all the things. Let's continue. 
So people are still guessing, and I haven't actually seen a single guess that is correct yet, which is really funny. It's really interesting. You know, sometimes they're just not things that you're going to think of, right? Not every farm is obvious. It's, a, it's an unobvious farm, where we farm unobvious things. Still no one's got it. There's, some, there's all kinds of questions and guesses, and no one's got it. It's not storage. It's not a kelp farm. It's not a cobble farm. It's not a turtle egg farm. It's not a pumpkin farm. It's not an iron farm. You won't get it, I'll tell you. Ah, uh, Zapdos. Zapdos is a clever man. See, there are some brain smarts peeps out there. Jeez, you all thought you were a bunch of derps just like me, didn't you? You thought, I'm watching this fella because I'm derpy like he is. Ah, that's the wrong one. No. Fill it in. Blasphemy. Right, uh, we can almost head out of here now. So, let's uh, fill up some of our junk boxes with... Anything that will fit inside of them, I guess. Apparently nothing will fit in there. Wonderful. Let's try another junk box. You have some space. That is wonderful. Uh, for now, I think what I'll end up doing... Oh, we've got to tidy these valuables away. Uh, I'm going to put them in the redstone box. And when I open that later, I'll remember to process this stuff, I guess. Right, that is mostly an orderly inventory. Fantastic. We need one more thing. tools. Uh, what do I need this for? Oh yeah, to put my shovel away, just because it's getting a bit wrecked. Yeah, there's nothing else I need out of that that toolbox of mine. No. Okay, cool. So now we are all good to head out of here. Let's silk touch this. Let's not forget anything important and uh, off we go again. Wow. That was good. Hermit Go Farm says Neverse. I've already said what it was. People are still guessing. Zapdos, look at that. They can't comprehend. Crazy has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Crazy, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate using the Prime subscription on me. I hope you're enjoying the uh, enjoying the stream. Yeah, it's a stream, isn't it? That's what it is. Let's put down some torches here. Uh, and we got bits, noises, cheers. Things are being thrown at me. Do it smiles 97 saying Frankers, who's the owner of Hermitcraft and why do you but episode 768 instead of si of season 6 episode 9 or something and call me Travis. I'll call you Travis then. Travis, I'm not on episode 6 uh, 768. I'm on episode 718 at the moment, I think. Um that's roughly where I am. Squid So that's where I am, and the reason why is because I don't reset my episode numbers season to season. Um, I think Biffa did for the second season also do that, and maybe one or two other people. I think Hypno might have. There are a couple of people that did it, but now I'm the only person that does it, and that's fair enough. Um, but it was just something that I wanted to do. I also want to try and find, like, Tango's stuff in this area. Like, where's Tango's portal, I guess? Tango's probably using his elytra and flying around, so... Let's actually forget that idea. It's probably somewhere up there. Let's, let's just... Let's just try and find a portal somewhere. Is this season 6 or 5, says Guri? We're on season 6 now. I can never find any season 1 episodes, says Ash Blazington. From me or from other people? I mean, you just got to do the search, right? Hermitcraft season 1 playlist, something like that. I don't see any signs of a portal. And I'm not sure where the nearest portal is. Actually, I want to grab that boat. I don't think Tango's done much on his base. He's been busy with massive mob farms, isn't it, Lurky? He'll have a, he'll have a portal, though, surely. Surely he's going to have a portal. Surely don't call me Shirley. Jeez. Remember when the boats used to break upon impacts? <laughs> oh, yeah. They were a right joke. There's this, uh, there's this funny in, like video of these chaps like laughing hysterically at something, but it's in another language, so people dub over it for humour. And uh, the first time I ever saw that was when it was about Mojang and the boats in Minecraft, and oh, it was one of the funniest things. It was so hysterical, so hysterical. This is a beautiful build right here. 
just tuned in and where is Turtle Man, says CC. Turtle Man is no more. I'm back. I feel like maybe Turtle Man should have probably lasted a little bit longer. I'll see what the people in the comments say. Maybe I'll just shift back and forth, you know. Sometimes I'm Turtle Man, sometimes I'm X-Man, you know. Maybe I'll be Wolverine one day. Jeez, I made an X-Man joke. I don't even really know anything other than X-Man, Wolverine, Mutants. <laughs> Is that it? Is there vampires in, in X-Men? Jeez, I don't know. X killed Turtle Man, says Epic K9. Jeez, I killed him. Evil X Turtle Man, says Sebastian. That would be a sight to behold, wouldn't it? That would be a sight to behold. Right then, down into this bit we... Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's over there. Okay, the portal's over here, peeps. Benny Baghdadi says, uh, Double life, huh? X is like Hannah Montana. Jeez. I mean, I'll pretend I know about the Hannah Montana. And whatever that is. Isn't that a Disney thing? I'm trying to remember who Hannah Montana is now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Darkeners is here. Subscribing with Amazon Prime. Darkeners, thank you for your Prime subscription. It is appreciated. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Goodness me, that is a plummet of death right there, isn't it? We'll stay away from that. Speaking of plummets of death, there might be some on our next adventure. We're going to head to some coordinates um, and sort of set up a nether portal. I think I've got the obsidian for this. I'm pretty sure I've got some obsidian. If I don't, I'm turning around. Why don't we just find out now for a second. Do I have obsidian? The answer is yes. The price is right, peeps. We have what we need. And we got a noise in the ear from none other than Not Avoid. Not Avoid, thank you for subscribing to the channel, man. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the live stream. Having a good time hanging out with us here today. Hannah Montana is the physical manifestation of the state of Montana, says Fred Stone. Yeah, that sounded right. That's ah, uh, that's uh, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is not good. Uh, this is bad news. Where are we heading? I've got the coordinates written down. It's a mystery, peeps. Where are we going to? Oh, we just don't know. Two one four four three seven. I mean, this is two one two right here. So we should just go in this direction. This perhaps is it then. I really wish there was a small F3 screen, man. Really do wish it. Should we pick up some of this stuff on the way? Probably a bit pointless to do that. You should go and play on 2B2T. Isn't that like an old Anarchy server? Um, I used to play Anarchy with Kirshar back in the day. Jeez, now Kirshar, ladies and gentlemen. Old school Hermitcraft member. We're talking, we're talking early formation days of Minecraft. Uh, he was like, he was like the guy who invented mob farms. Like there wasn't mob farms until there was Kirshaw. Like, the very first mob farm concept ever was made by this guy. Um, so you see there, we kind of went across, down, around, and then continued on in this direction. That is how we know we're going in the right direction. Change the GUI to normal, says Nuki. I think it is on. On normal. Five zig shows cool easy, says Dre's. I think I'm gonna get that. Gonna get that. Um just need Forge to update probably. Uh Accordo says, wow, mentioning Kearshaw is taking me back. Well you're talking seven, eight, nine years ago for Kearshaw. Like literally. Are you guys gonna build more games like last season, says Zero Fox? Of course, man, one of my big projects is to build a giant game that everyone can play together. Um, it's going to be a little bit like I think Magic: The Gathering is actually like a good example. I like I've never been particularly into those kind of card games, but the concept of them, the idea of them, intrigues me, and I think that's what I want to do. I was thinking Hermitron, but it's not like a collection game; it's like a deck building game. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Right now, now I have the coordinates. Coordinates are. Coordinates are 214437. So 214 is that direction. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's there's 214. And 437 is 
this way. Right, and it's right there. This is where the portal needs to be, peeps. Now, where is this portal going to go to? It's your time to, to guess in chat. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, oh, maybe it will be... Maybe it will be... Jeez, I can't even think of an interesting biome right now. Anyway. Anyway. Why well, I got no flint and steel? Where is my flint and steel? Ah, oh, jeez. I always have a flint and steel. I mean, I'm just organised like that. Somewhere in here we may have some gravel. Flint. One step, one step. Come on. Come on. There, there we go. I know how to play this game, okay? Shulker boxes, silk touch, ender chest. I'm telling you, peeps. I'm telling you, peeps. Get on my level. Get on my level. Right. And portal. Portal. Here we go. Here we go. Re ready? Ready? Are you ready? I can't remember where this goes. I think it's above ground, so I think it's going to be... Okay. Oh. 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 Can you tell me where we are, peeps? Can you tell me where... Oh. Where we are. Why keep why, why am I keep looking away? I wanna see if chat knows. I wanna see the brain smarts activate. Okay, I'm looking for iron really, not coal. Mushroom Island, jeez. Say say says I knew it. Why don't you type it in chat, say say? We're the coral reef. Oh Oh hello. Let's see if we can find a puffer fish, man. I got no idea how common these things are. Let's pop over here. NHO Nature Health Organization Reserve. Who put that there? Jeez. Someone's visited my area, I think. Whoa, is that a puffer fish right there? But, uh, no, it's a block. <laughs> it's a block of prismarine. I saw something small and floaty, and I thought it was it. Right. Peeps, eyes peeled for those puffer fish. Squid! I will kill you, squid. Give me your ink sacks. Thank you. Right. Uh, we got a noise in the air. Where are we, though? Uh, we are at Arua 100 has subscribed. Arua 100, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate you using the Amazon Prime on me. You can now use the emotes in chat. Thank you for your support. Greatly appreciated. Real Wombo says, Doc M claimed this island and the reef. Oh, to what extent did he claim it exactly? Um, that's what I need to know, I guess. Someone said X look right. Oh, squids. Oh, and a group of something. Different types of fish. Oh my goodness me, it's the update aquatic. There's squiddies. Oh, I've got a conduit effect here. Right, look out for those puffer fish. That's probably what someone meant when they said look right. Those puffer fish are going to be hard to spot when they're small. See, look, there's a couple of floaty things on the sur Oh, they are puffer fish. Oh, oh, you come in with me. Oh, yes, yes, tactical fishing, ladies and gentlemen. We got puffer fish. We got them. We got them, lads. Right, let's put that there. Uh, I now want to get more. So we are going to put that in there. And then we're going to grab our valuables. I had an entirely different plan for when we came over here, by the way. But this is the plan now. Let's create a crafting bench here. I'm just going to swim around and have fun, man. There's a, there's a beacon here for our for our needs. Uh, right, let's try and get another six. Sweet! Oh, man, I, I'm going to have so much fun with these puffer fish. Um, Apollo Neo Martinez has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Apollo Martinez, thank you for subscribing. Your support is greatly appreciated. Enjoy the emotes in chat. I hope you're having a fantastic time as we catch some pufferfish. Now, there was more than one, wasn't there? But I don't know where the other one went to. Oh, let's do it super cheaty mode. I love super cheaty mode. Super cheaty mode is super helpful. Okay, they don't appear to be pufferfish, so uh, we'll wrap back around this way. Maybe kill some squids while we're at it. There is one. Five blocks away, derp, says Nuku. Well, I didn't see it, so... Uh, joke's on me! Ha ha, what an idiot! I didn't see something on my own computer screen. What a dirt. What a fool. 
Okay, now we're, go we're going away from the warm biome in that direction, so that can't be it. Just keep moving around, I guess. Why puffer fish, says Ozzy. Because I want them for shenanigans. Uh, you're just regular squid. Squid. Fish. Jeez. Learn to, learn to identify. So much for a nature preserve. X coming in and killing the animals. Don't they respawn? What if the... Right, so tropical fish, cods, salmon, pretty sure they all respawn. Puffer fish... I'm not sure about, but then again, if I think about my experience in Hardcore Hermits, I'm pretty sure that the pufferfish I ran into there were, like, capable of respawning. I mean, they were, that, there we go. We just saw a big group of these things and things in the distance spawn. So it might be possible that we actually see them spawn at some point. Man, I'm loving this conduit effect. Super helpful. GG, Doc. GG. Right. Ugh. Yeah. Make annoying noises. Um, Stay Puffed Gamer has subscribed. Stay Puffed Gamer, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the live stream today. Having a good time hanging out with us. We've got lots of groups of fish in front of us. Which one are the puffer fish? I would like to get more buckets on my hotbar just in case. Now that looks square and small, but no, you're tropical. It can be a little bit hard with these hitboxes around. They look... Yes. Oh! Oh, I'm a professional! Right, those totally respawn, so we are not, we're not destroying anything, man. We're just collecting things that respawn. Wonderful. Amazing, right? Uh, that'll do, that'll do. Let's go looking for more. I think they small I think they spawn in small groups. Ah, oh I got poisoned. I played with fire and I got hurt. Okay, not for very long though, was it? That was a puffer, says Sean. I think I think a lot of these look like puffers until you get closer and realise they're not. So uh that now that's a bit more of a square sh oh that is one. Ugh. Okay, and then another one. Oh, oh we are, I am professional. Look at this. Pro skill. Definitely some cheaty hitboxes going on, you know. You know, but you work with what you got. If you got these cheaty hitboxes, might as well use them. These look very square. You are one of them. Oh, gotcha. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Matt, I'm getting a whole bunch of these. These are useful for many things. You'll soon find out. Would be nice if we could get squids like we get fishes. Uh, oh, what, in a bucket? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's grab another two lots of those. Make some buckets. Fill up the buckets with water. I'm going to have fun with these, I tell you. Lots of squid over here. I think I want to get those squid, get more ink. And uh, they look like tropical fish to the left. Kacha! Get wrecked. This area here might have been some uh, coral that got raided. Kacha! Uh, apparently, there's some more rip scouring chat. What happened there? Oh, jeez. That poor fella. Remember them the world height was 64 blocks, says Lukey? I don't actually. I remember when it was 128. I'm pretty sure that's what it's always been. Yeah, this is definitely some raided looking coral around here. And the biome looks a little bit sad, doesn't it, without the coral? Nice, we are, we're making a kill in here now. Are they I think they're tropicals. They are tropicals. Oh, I missed this from earlier, I guess. Pacha. Right, tropicals again. Benny Bag Daddy says, I know you, X. You're such a troll. Catching fish to troll the hermits. You're such a troll. Get back under your bridge. To 
Troll of a Hermit? What are you on about? You can poison mobs with these things. Jeez, I was thinking about a mob farm, that was all. Right then, let's do like a little bit of a lap. We kind of went out here a little bit, swam around to the left, and then we started getting all sorts of things spawning. So we'll try that again. Because I just stopped doing this. Why? This is what I want to do. I want to catch some fishies. I'm only going to get another six. Oh! Who's got them skills? Those cheaty F3 and B skills. I mean, what's going on here? I missed some ink. Apparently, don't see any puffer fish here unless. Ah, ow. That hurt. <laughs> that definitely hurt. I am back. Egg Eye Zuma Floyd says Noxius. <laughs> a Zuma Floyd, that's, that's a new one. I haven't heard that one before. Let's, uh, if someone says eat a puffer fish, I'm not sure that you can. Oh, you mean the puffer fish item? Yeah, you can eat that. Not recommended. Tried it, didn't like it, personally, you know. Now, here's why I'm not seeing puffer fish. That's slightly concerning. We'll get them eventually. If you get a job at Apple, are you afraid they'll call you Tenisuma? Now, I don't get that joke at all, but why would I get a job at Apple? I'd definitely get a job at Banana, you know. That's who I want to work for, really. This is an NHO nature preserve, says Almost Christian. I'm preserving nature by putting it in a bucket. Jeez, get on me level. Right, there we go. Oh. There is, there's a lot of stuff over there. I think some of that might be puffer fish. Let's check it out. We've got some more spawns. Right. Oh my god, is that? No, that's not puffer fish. That's pufferfish. Two. Two together, right? Nope. Nope. I thought there was a big gang of them for a second. This looks... Oh, here we go. Where'd the other one go? Oh, look at that. Professional Minecrafter in the house. Showing you... Showing you how you... Ca you, you, you use your cheatiness to get the, the pufferfish. That's what I'm showing you. So these things... Uh, respawn with some frequency and appear to be in groups of uh oh 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 cheeky devil poisoning me how could you man i'm loving all the squid out here as well that's awesome thank you one more pufferfish to go we've got a noise in the air it's me p me pony the bit me pony the bit thank you for subscribing to the derp, here on the twitch.tv slash the assumer. I appreciate your support. I hope you're enjoying the shenanigans. Apparently we've got some ink sacks up on the surface over here. I will take them. Show me where the fishies are. You are an ink sack as well. So really, we could probably guess by size of group what's going on over here. Bam. So yeah, it's quite, oh, there's the conduit. Right, that's quite a way out, actually. So there's quite a large bit of area here you could swim through, I guess. Amazing Dave says, you're the only true professional Minecrafter. Uh, if you get trapped in a deep hole. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the professional Minecrafter profession right there. Doing things others can't. I tell you, get a group of people together. They won't get trapped in a hole. That's something they won't do. Leave that to us. Is there a key reason you're killing a wildlife, says Max the Fat. I mean, I'm killing squids. I'm not killing pufferfish. I'm just putting them in buckets. Did I see one swim through here? Scuttle its way around? No. feel like we might be seeing the same groups over and over again. We need them to despawn and others to spawn, you know. This is beautiful, man. I'm enjoying this. Squids deserve it, says Draves Graham. Well, what did they ever do, eh? Existing, goodness me. Cheeky. Taking up all this space. Asuma, can you please join Buildstone with Mumbo and, and Giarian? Or maybe prank one of them, please? We pranked Mumbo earlier this stream. Bit of a tradition, every stream we prank Mumbo. 
Guinness says, rest your eyes. Thank you for the reminder, man. I'll rest them soon. Uh, right now, I'm, d I'm just determined on getting this last puffer fish. Where is it? I, I mean, I see something over here that looks like one. Ow, ow, ow. That's not poison damage. What are you? Nah, you're a tropical on your own. And that's my friend. Also tropical, actually. And that right there, that's got to be... No, it's tropical. And what about you? You are... Bufferfish! Sweet. Sweet, we did it, peeps. We got lots of them. Isn't that fantastic? I think that's fantastic. Right, let's go put these... Let's get, let's get out of the water now. We've done enough of this. Let's go put these back into here. That is a lot of puffer fish, my friends. A lot, a lot of puffer fish. Wonderful. Alrighty then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to be wrapping today's live stream up. I hope you've enjoyed our adventures, but that's all I've got time for today. Uh, we will be raiding none other than Il Mango. So I'm going to send you over there. If you want to see some cool Psycraft craziness, uh, stick around on the channel. We'll be raiding Il Mango. Massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated and cheered. As always, I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one. So ciao for now. Bye bye.